This is going to be just kind of a thumb over thumb, kind of a classic curl thumb grip. Watch what's going on. Now if I do a flying thumbs grip like some guys teach where my thumbs are just kind of pointing up. If I go ahead and get aggressive with the gun, if I roll my thumbs forward and get my mass behind the gun, do you, do you see a difference in how much the gun moves? Yeah. Okay. Little things make a huge difference when it comes to shooting fast. Um, I'll do draw strokes so you've got it, so you've got you know, a, a moving picture to, uh, to look at for draw stroke. Here's the deal. Both hands have to move together. We want the hands high on the body. We want them out of the way for a couple of reasons. Count one a draw stroke. My hips are square to thread. Support hand comes in high and flat. I get a full firing grip on the holstered gun. Thumb is flagged, web deep in the tank. Fingertips touch front strap. Crush grip the gun. Gun draws up the body to count two. Notice, my finger's in register. It's not hovering around. It's not on the trigger. It's in register. It's out of the way in a locked position. My wrist is locked. My elbow is high. There's a bunching in my shoulder. My support hand, in this case, is still high and flat on the chest. For count three, I physically drag the gun across the torso. It drags across, ending up under my dominant eye, the eye I shoot with. At that point, I build a two-handed grip. For me, this is count three. Count three is where the gun first becomes visually referenced. I can see the gun down here in my peripheral vision. If I'm putting two hands on the gun, it's where I put two hands on the gun, but if I'm shooting one-handed, it's still count three a draw stroke. At count two, I cannot see the gun. At count one, I cannot see the gun. The gun is higher and further forward at each count a draw stroke. Here we move into count three. From count three, count four. Count four is appropriate extension or compression based on range to threat. Anywhere along here, at this distance, I can lock out. This is still count four. You know, this is still count four. Three, two, one. So you've got one scheme of motion the gun always moves through no matter what you're doing. If you can get that down, if you can get draw stroke down, that scheme of motion down, and a good solid interface with the gun, and a good weight forward platform, that will address 90% of your shooting problems defensively speaking. So. Cool. Yep.